Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great, and welcome to this new video on Injective. And, uh, and the INJ token, wanted to do an update because, uh, well, it's been a while. And, and apart from that, I mean, there's there's a lot to talk about. We uh, Injective obviously rallied a lot uh, in the last like month and a half. We went all the way from uh, 2.5 at a low to uh, to 9.5 and even $10 almost at a top. Um, but we have dropped down quite a bit in the, in, in the recent week. So I wanted to give you my thoughts on that. and wanted to also talk about whether it's possible to get another rally that type of stuff. So that's what we'll do. We'll focus mostly on the technicals, but I do want you uh, do want you to know that Injective is a great it's it's a great project altogether. All right, it's uh, it, it's a great protocol. It's growing. It has a huge ecosystem fund, uh, great backing. But apart from that, uh, and and I even think the market cap right now is undervalued. But apart from that. This rally is was perhaps a bit much, and apart from that, the market circumstances are also not ideal. So before we talk about the technicals, um, I do want to let you know that if you want to receive daily trading signals from me, uh, check out the links down in the description or the pinned comment, and there you'll find instructions on how to join. Uh, the trading signal group but now on to injective so if we take a look at the technicals i mean you can see that we hit a uh, quite a strong support level first of all it's just a normal key level 6.5 is a little bit of a psychological support level uh, but then it's also supported by the 200 ema strong support it's providing us quite a lot of support right now and then even if you if you zoom in we even technically got like a a small bullish breakout above this level it's not the it's it's not the most prominent level but still it's it's something um oh excuse me so we broke above that and i actually think we can continue this bullish momentum uh, up to our main resistance level which i mean you can already see that there's like a 50 ema at around uh, 7.44 but the main resistance level, I think, is right here around 7.5, 7.6. Excuse me, that's my coffee machine. Um, I think we'll get there. But for now, I think the most likely scenario is, and that's both uh, based on that it's technically a huge uh, resistance level. 7.5 is psychological. Uh, you got like three different FIPs there. You got the 3A2 FIP of this recent bearish move, which is usually very strong. Um, so I think the most likely scenario is that from there we'll drop down to $7 and back down to 6.5 and that will continue the downtrend down to like $6. I think that's also in line with what I expect from Bitcoin. I expect more bearish momentum from Bitcoin. So therefore, I mean, if, if you d disagree with that, if you think Bitcoin goes up to 30,000 again, then this will not happen. All right. And apart from that, there's also something else I wanted to talk about. I mean, I know that Injective has been very strong and that's not without reason. So if we can actually, I think we'll get there. If from there, uh, and I think we'll drop down to $7. But if from there we can actually hold that and kind of start making higher lows, then I think we are able to break above that and get to our next resistance around 8.2 and 8.4. So it's definitely a possibility. And I would even say it's realistic. I think it has like a 25% chance of happening. I just do not think it's the most likely scenario. As I said, based on both that I think this uh, this whole rally is a bit much. Um, I expect bearish momentum in the entire market. That's another reason. And uh, I think this resistance level technically is very strong. So that's why I think it's more likely will fall down again. Uh, but it's definitely not out of out of question. It's definitely not impossible to do something like this, especially with what we've seen for Injective. Um, but yeah, that's my take on it for now. So if you do have any questions, then let me know. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.